What's up everybody, it is Daydreams. Thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button down below for daily Clash of Kings videos. So guys, I had something pretty cool planned for this morning. I was going to go over to the Black Belt here, and I just found a little 15 million power castle. I wanted to see what I could take down solo, and what I would actually lose in a realistic battle. So, for instance, like a 40 million power prestige 5 versus a... 15 million power prestige 5 which is you know five or six well about six million less than what I am But he does have all level 43 equipment And he's got the level 20 golden glass on which is absolutely useless. He'd have been better off with level 25 or 15, but We won't get into that But I log in and I notice something do you guys notice anything wrong with this picture here? I'm sitting on three million power so I go back here and I look over and this guy's still burning from the other day when we killed him so it couldn't have been him so I checked this power just to make sure four million power nothing I look around no one around me okay I was sitting I was sitting right here so I go to my reports hang on I clicked the wrong thing so I go to my battle reports click on them come down here we withstood the first two and then we lost like 10 in a row so I clicked the first one and what do you know it was shadow shadow got me first he hit me with a skill I have over 2 million troops left right I was over almost 30 million power over 2 million troops and he literally barely loses the first battle so I go to my stats and they're really low. They're like really low. And then I remember, oh, I have my stats and support. So that way I could retrain troops for the video this morning. And I had no buffs on or anything. So, yeah. This should show you how important buffs and stuff on. Because if I had them on, it would have been pretty hard for him to kill me uh, so easily. With just uh, 12 attacks. So, that's the first attack. The skill attack. Let's take a look at the second. So the second one, we kill 176 and lose 112. So for him, another good trade. So this should show you what a max P5 can do to uh, almost max P5. You could wipe a 30 million power max P5, kind of like a uh, kill switch. You can uh, take someone like kill switch out in, um, if you want to lose about 15 million power, you could do it, um, but he, yeah, if someone was to take kill switch out and they're a completely fully maxed, it would take them about 15 million power to do so solo. Um, yeah, it's absolute madness, so. I didn't even want to record this and show you guys, because I'm a little embarrassed. Shadow obviously saw the video where I said I would, uh, kill him if I got 1500 likes, so. I'm gonna say that that video with Shadow is off, wink wink, um, if you catch my drift. Um, but we'll just say that video is off now. I'll show you the rest of these battle reports, but I wasn't going to upload this, but now I don't have the video to upload because it's going to take me a couple hours to build my power back up to take out that 15 million power max castle. So, now I got to upload this video showing you guys the carnage of me getting zeroed, and hopefully it can help some of you out who have um, close to max prestige fives. Uh, all I'm missing is the dragon glass and the grapheme stone. It's the only things I'm missing, and you can see after like a while... Like, after those first four hits, you can see my front line's decimated. I've got no ber- or no, that's his berserker. Hang on here. He, he don't send very many berserker there, Shadow. You can see I have no berserker left now. And look how fast these Divine Knights fall. Look at all these Divine Knights falling. You can just see the carnage when I have no berserker up front. So that should tell you the importance of berserker. If you recall, I was already pretty low. I was down to maybe 300k. So once they went after those first three hits, he just ate through me. And it was just absolute savagery from there on out. You can see I kill less and less and he kills more and more. Right there, 183 to 65. So it just got worse and worse and worse. I'll show you the last three, I guess. So, yeah. Pretty bad stuff. <laughs> pretty bad stuff. He got me real bad. He got me real bad. And, I mean, it's going to take me a long time to rebuild all this. And then... Um, to take out that 50 million, I have to rebuild what I already lost, plus another 20 or 30 million, so, it's gonna take me forever, thanks Shadow. Pretty funny, 
pretty funny stuff. He's sending me a message right now on Skype because I sent him a message saying WTF. So he sent me a message. And um, apparently he sent a loudspeaker. What do we say to being zeroed? Question mark. Not today. Daydreams. Zeroed. New video. Check it out. Daydreams. RTS on YouTube. It's real cute, Shadow. Real cute. You ruined my entire video for today, so thank you for that. Um, so, oh my god. I've got to rebuild all this power, guys. It's going to take me a little bit. When I do, I'm going to do some more testing on the server. Um, I'm going to slow down on these, like, zeroed videos. Um, wow, he even kicked me from the Alliance. What a jerk, man. He kicked me from the Alliance so I didn't have the Alliance buffs. God. Well, okay. So... Okay, so, there's not many people left to zero in beta. There's a couple, but not that many. And I'm going to get back to mostly um, getting into um, stuff in 440. We do have, I want to tell you guys this, it's very important, so please listen up. We're going to be doing a live stream uh, for the Dragon Campaign on Saturday morning. Also, we're going to be doing a dra live stream for the... Kingdom Conquest is probably going to be an all-night stream, or at least a couple-hour stream, and then videos all night, Saturday night. So, all day Saturday is Clash of Kings Day. I won't be doing Agario videos then. It'll just be Clash of Kings. Um, another thing, guys, if you look in your, um, this area, and this isn't out for just beta, it's out for everything. Okay, yeah, here it is. So, if you come here, guys, go ahead and click at the top right. You'll see this in the event center. You'll see this little calendar. So, go ahead and click it. And it's not showing up for me right now, but what that is, it's a calendar so that you can mark the date and time of your events. So, Dragon Campaign, Saturday, um, I think it's like, what, September 10th at 10 a.m. Uh, my time, and then it'll be whatever a.m. someone else's time. So, um, you can keep track of what time your events are, so that should really help your guys' alliance. Make sure that you take advantage of the new calendar in the top right corner. It should help you guys a lot. Um, that's the best feature that uh, I've seen come out lately. And it's not just in beta either, guys. It's also in the regular Clash of Kings too. So you guys can check that out. Another thing, if you missed yesterday's video, please stop asking me about the gold. Um, if you guys want to get the gold, go ahead and create a YouTube channel. Promote Clash of Kings for seven months every single day. Don't miss a day. And maybe then they'll do you a favor and hook you up so that way you can, you know, make videos and stuff. I can't get it for anybody else, guys. I have tried my very best. Um, I was lucky enough to get it. And if people keep asking them and bugging them and asking in uh, beta for it and talking about it, I'm going to lose my privileges because they don't want all that drama. They don't want people bugging them for that all the time. They have real questions to answer in support right now and literally they're getting hundreds of questions about it and it's making me look like a complete idiot and yeah you guys are just ruining the cool videos for everyone else so please don't be that guy that totally ignores what i'm saying in the video and goes to support and ask them for this stuff um don't be a random douche okay just don't be a douche just enjoy the content i'm gonna keep pumping it out there and hopefully I can get this power back pretty quickly and we'll go do some real tests tomorrow. Let me know in the comment section, guys. What do you want me to test specifically? I'm trying to get the Grapheme Stone. Someone asked if I could show them the difference between having range strike and not having range strike on. And um, I do want to do some of these tests for the Grapheme Stone because there's so many different combinations. There's some for, um, you can see Cavalry Archer. There's some for range strike, which is the Archers. Um, there's some, here's one called Fight, that just has a whole troops attack, whole troops defense. Um, let me see what maybe the best one is. That's elaborate research. Actually, that has Chariot damage plus 10, Archer damage plus 10, Cavalry damage, Charge damage plus 10%. So that's a big buff right there, plus 14 and 14, so yeah. 
having these graphing stones are just absolutely insane. Plus, you get 3% of your troops back. Um, you need a lot of stones for that, but I'm sure there's some savages out there that have them. And that's why people's um, attack bonuses are getting worse and worse further and further ahead. Not to get to like the complaining stuff, but I saw that they were selling a pack right now that gives you 70% attack and defense bonus for 2 hours in the ancient battlefield only. They really need to stop it with that stuff because the strong castles already have such an advantage on us. They don't need a bigger advantage, but I'm getting off topic guys. I got zeroed here in the um, beta. I'm going to be rebuilding my troops back. We'll get it back. Um, we will get Shadow back. We will get you back Shadow. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you didn't enjoy actually. But don't dislike the video just because I got zeroed. It's all in good fun. This is just beta. I don't really care. He knows I can rebuild the troops. It's all a joke. We're still friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Please smash thumbs up and remember that teamwork makes the dream work. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.